Hey guys, my name is Paolo with Breath Moto, and we're going to show you how to put on this 2014 Toyota Avalon front bumper cover. This was uh, painted by us here at RevMoto, painted to match, custom painted when you order it. We're going to put the link for that up at top, uh, link down below in the description, and also in the comments. So yeah, show you how to do it. So what we're going to take off is the, we like to start on the bottom bumper. We're going to move to the sides, and then we're going to go to the top. So we're going to show you first uh, the bottom. So there are approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 10 millimeter bolts. And there are right here on these tabs that go along the bumper. One was right there. Where is it? Right there. One here. And you see how the bumper is slotted into the engine guard here. So make sure that goes in there. When you do the install, someone didn't do this right or correctly here. And then there's one in the very end, right here. Right there. Well, I took it out, but it's right there. So that's the six on the bottom. So again, the bottom is just six bolts, 10 millimeter uh, socket. You can use an impact gun if you like. So now we're gonna move to the wheel well or the bumper ends. Okay, so now that we're on the side of the fender, I'm going to show you down here. You just have to disconnect the fender liner from the bumper. Pretty simple. It has these plastic, I don't know, this is a, kind of like a screw, but it's also a pin. You can see it. What you do is you just twist it off with a flathead to pull it out. It's one there. And then up here, same thing, it's a plastic screw. Kind of like a push pin type thing. Uh, sometimes they get, as you can see, if you don't do it correctly, it gets really messed up. So typically with bumpers, there is normally a steel screw here that attaches the bumper to the fender. This one doesn't have it, it's just clipped on so we can just pull it out uh, once we take off the other side. So normally there is a screw here by the fender. This one doesn't have it. So as soon as we take off the other side and the top bumper, we can just pull it out. All right, so once you disconnect the fender liner from the bumper on this end, do the same thing on the opposite end. It's the exact same thing. Super easy to do. Okay, so we have here is the top of the bumper. Uh, radiator cover, we got to pull out. It's got uh, plastic push pins, super easy to pull off. If you have a flathead screwdriver, um, use a flathead screwdriver to wedge it. Or we have a pry tool, you just put it in there, pop it up. Uh, these are a bit harder because they're smaller. Sometimes they get stuck inside the, uh, I guess, the, the rim here. Uh, but a tiny little flat it should work. If you can wear this in, it'll just pop right out. This one is a screw type, just unscrew it. Sometimes it gets stuck, so you have to like wedge something on top of the wheel there so it'll pop out. Uh, as you can see, this one is couldn't get this one out, but we're going to pop it out. so. It should be okay. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Two more here, pop those out and then take them out. All right, so now we're just gonna take that off. So what do we have to remove for the bumper or grill? here the clip right here connected to the this little bracket obviously whatever this is we can just twist this off I think this is a I don't know what this is maybe it's a spacer for the hood why is it not coming off oh it's a giant clip okay all right that'll work I guess Giant clip two, all right. Let's put them where you won't lose them. It's my pry tool, wedge that in there. Wiggle it out, it's super easy. We're gonna put this one on top of the engine. 
we don't lose it. It goes in the middle. There's that. Oh. You got one of these on each end? Right there. Take that out. Those are her favorite kind, remember? The ones that just spin. You see how it was already sticking out and I just pushed it back in and now it's just spinning. Look at that. So annoying, okay. Okay, <laughs> so this one, I was able to unscrew and just kind of pop out. It's super easy to do. Put that on the battery. This one, however, just kept spinning, even when I fried something underneath the, the big wheel, and it just popped off anyway. So, you know, I guess that's, that's that. Let's see if this works. Boom, boom, boom. Get this side off. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna find out. Uh, this car does have fog lights, obviously. So when you take off the bumper, you wanna make sure you don't pull it off too um, fast, too hard, because you don't wanna pull that uh, harness out for the fog light. Okay, so when we pull the bumper out, I'm just gonna pull it gently from the sides. Uh, there are fog lights, so we do have to unplug that. So you don't wanna pull it out too hard, too fast, too strong, because uh, you don't wanna break the harness, the fog lights, it's expensive to fix. You don't want to fix that. So just pull it out, pop it off. Ever so gently. So as you can see, I'm still holding it up. I didn't drop it because the fog lights are plugged in. So that's how you take the bumper off. Let me show you the clips on the fog lights though. All right, so that's the fog lights there. Two on each end, two clips, two bulbs, the whatnots. Here it is. Push down on this tab right here. Sometimes it's really stiff, especially on older cars. On the well. Second one, push down right here where my thumb is. And then just pull it out. If you can't get it out, you're not strong enough. Uh, you know, you can use a flathead. All right, guys, so this is the uh, RevMoto bumper we painted in-house. Uh, color match, this was a local customer, so what we did is uh, we used the swatch to match it, paint swatch. So what we're gonna do now is just transfer everything on the old bumper, put it on the new bumper. That's gonna be the bulk of the video for some reason, taking the bumper off, putting it on, if you've never done it before. Super fast, super quick, but transferring all the stuff, uh, is annoying. So we're going to put this to the side, actually. Somewhere safe. Here are the fog lights. Let's get in closer. You don't want to see me. You want to see the work. Okay, so super easy. It's just some screws. Phillips screws. It's called the Phillips screwdriver. Are these called Phillips screws? They're just regular screws. Yeah. Riddle me that. Riddle me this, riddle me that. So are the other screws called flathead screws? I don't know, man. Probably wrong, completely wrong. But hey, are they? They probably are, I don't, I don't do this. <laughs> I don't take parts off. But if I can do this, Anyone can do this. So I'm gonna, it was a total of, let's see, five screws for both fog lights. I'm just gonna put this to the side. Oh, and also the fog light bezel, which you can see is right there, one screw there. So you can put this to the side. Don't wanna lose them. Take this out. See, kind of, it's kind of wedged in here. Oop, 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 put in there. Pull that out. This one just comes right out. So in case you, well, in case you guys are wondering what side they're on, in case you guys get confused or flopped, of course you can always fit it. I mean, you know those little puzzles kids do where they put the square in the square? <laughs> it's kind of like that, but also it has like the side on it. Uh, if you see there, there's an L for 
loser. I mean, left. It's for left. And of course, the right side is gonna have right side, right? Right side, passenger side. The left side is the driver's side. So the bezel. How fun. Can we see the bezel? We cannot see the bezel. Okay. Let's go in a little bit. Bezel. Okay. See this right here. Got to push those tabs in with a screwdriver that I dropped on the floor. You can see this one better. It's a tab right here. See how it's hooked on the plastic bumper? Push that in. It's really strong, stronger than me. So I'm gonna use a flathead to just pop it and get the bezel out. So watch me struggle. Oh, see I just pop one and the whole thing came off. So that's the bezel. So now you're gonna repeat that obviously on the second side, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. We're gonna move straight into the uh, lower grill. So let's actually zoom in on the lower grill. <laughs> zoom. It's a screw or a Phillips screw because we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. There is one. Do I need to count it for you? Probably not. Two, three, and then four on that end. That is about it. And then you have the rest are tabs, which again, just like the bezel, you have to pop them up. And then when we pop it like that, we're going to push the grill down with our other hand just to get it off. Uh, but we'll show you one. Well, I'll show you because there's no we. It's just me today. Rolando is out. If you don't know who that is, don't worry about it. She's not special. But if you've seen our other videos, then you know who he is, so. I'm also gonna fast forward this because, you know, it's boring. And also, it makes me look really fast. Four. I'm gonna put that in my right pocket because, you know, I don't have any Ziploc bags that I can label. Too lazy to get that. Flathead. Oh look, someone, this was already installed by somebody or something because look, this, this tab is not even in. It's not even in. Can you even see that? The tab's not even in, look. I didn't do that. Well, Lordy McPherson. All right, just help me out, I guess. Just pop it out. So as soon as you get like a couple tabs off, like obviously the person who did this before me didn't put on correctly. It'll just pop right off. Which is good for me, I guess, because... I don't like hard work. That is a lower grill with the license plate. Oh, like that is a lower grill with the license plate. Cool. I hope we even saw that. Do you even see that? Don't be like me. Use your eyeballs. Two screws, one right here, one right here. It's probably how the other guy broke it, honestly. This is one tab, it's like half of it's broken, I'll show you. Let's take this off. Easy peasy, All right? The screw is not even the same screw as the other one, so for sure this has been Repaired on, worked on. All right. Lemon squeezy, goes in my pocket. See, comes right off. There's a screw in the middle here, I don't know why. Is that even supposed to be there? I'm not even sure. Something tells me it's not, it's rusted. If you're buying a car or a used car, you open up the, trunk, uh, the hood, the trunk, anywhere, and you see rusted bolts. It's not good. It's not a good sign. Oh, you know what? It is supposed to be there. But still, you don't want any rust. That's the top grill, super easy. Again, it's two screws here, one in the middle. Look, the bumper's broken. <laughs> this has been repaired. Oh boy, okay. Oh, so one thing I wanted to show you is 
Okay, so one thing I do want to show you is on the bottom of the bumper here, where we took off those 10 bolts, it's got these plastic, like, you can see it there. Right there. You need that to put it. With. It's got these plastic things here on the end of the bumper. We want to take these out and then transfer it to the new bumper, because if not, the screws are not going to hold. Uh, and it's got one on every single tab. So let's take that out. And what you do, these are super easy to get out. You just squeeze, squeeze this and then push it out. I said it's super easy, but it's pretty easy. You just gotta squeeze it out. Okay, so now we're gonna just get our tools off. Make sure we got everything out that we need. Oh, we got this bottom texture piece right here, gotta take off too. Okay guys, so what I forgot to show you was this uh, front textured piece. I was about to yeet this bumper without taking that off. Uh, so easy, you just pop it off. Super easy, don't pull it too hard because I just realized we've got more tabs. Love tabs, easy to take off. Same thing with the other ones, just pop it, push it down, pop it, push it down. Can I even show you this? Pop it, push it down, pop it. That should be a new song, pop it, push it down. Mark my words, that's gonna be a platinum selling song. Pop it, push it down. Pop it, push it down. Pop it, push it down. And then you pull it out, cause you know, you don't know how that ends. You don't want it to go like that. And that's the bottom texture piece. <laughs> uh, so that's what we gave them. Now we're just going to eat. Eat that. Hey guys, I do want to thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, go to RevMoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, taillights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to RevMoto.com, your pre-painted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.